Boring, boring, boring. When the supermarket first came to town, we flocked to it. For a provincial town, it was the arrival of the outside world. For the first time, things seen on television, read about in the national newspapers, seen in cities were at hand. Chorizo sausage, mangoes, the supermarket became vogue. Anyone with their head screwed on and their eyes open saw that the aspirations of the sophisticated and progressive were on offer at the supermarket. And so we went there and were blinded by its cold fluorescent glow. Many years passed this way. Balsamic vinegar was embraced. Couscous was transported visibly in supermarket carrier bags. The initial overwhelming awe was overcome and we started to make observations about the supermarket and laughed to ourselves as we shopped there. Then ethics were introduced to us. The plight of the third world, the effects of the free market and of big business were shown to us and we saw a new stark reality of what the supermarket was and what it meant for our lifestyles, our culture, our subculture, our society and the global society. And we boycotted it, scorned it, walked inside it, only to cast disdainful glances over it and look reproachfully on those who still shot there in the hope that we would somehow interrupt the reality of the supermarket in their eyes, that they might be enlightened by its falsehoods. As time passed, the new reality became normality and the supermarket no longer raised voices, it was merely ignored. Sometimes its new depths of depravity might raise an eyebrow and a chuckle, but that was about it. The cooperatives, nook and cranny retailers with whose staff we had uncomfortable relationships and tuppence a penny a pound gentlemen in dusty coats on the corner were all we knew. We picked up the telephone at weekends to discuss what the world of supermarkets and international freight carriers was up to, and jokes about them became the bedrock of humour. New technology developed and dispersed into everyday consciousness. We watched as the same celebrity face became associated with all manner of consumer goods. Social observations and political events gave substance for new humour and the bedrock was buried deeper and deeper. Now, it is so very well worn that it is used perfunctorily in the same way as idioms of speech. We write our names on A4 and tie ourselves up almost unconsciously, sometimes in a wry, self-referential way, which we enjoy very well worn. If you wish to learn more about supermarkets or indeed many other boring and derivative topics, you can subscribe to our online reality radio guidebook on YouTube by sending a stamped addressed envelope at least 12 inches by 9 inches to Oblivion Corner TV, Subscriptions Department, P.O. Box 0, Albion Canal. Now on Oblivion Corner, it's trouble ahead for the time crew as Fred's canal boat takes a wrong turn down Avoncliff Aqueduct and ends up in the tea gardens. But first, a look at yesterday's shipping forecast. <laughs>